Hey y'all. So this video is happening, what day is it? Today is the 22nd um, of January, but I'm actually posting a video, the original video I made when I started my channel three years ago. <laughs> Cause the intention at the time was to document my 35th year, but I failed miserably. I shouldn't say I failed. A lot of shit happened that stopped me <laughs> from doing it. So that video was recorded then. It's still relevant right now. So I just wanted to go ahead and post it so you guys could watch it. It's been in my phone since 20, whatever, three years ago was 2019, 2017. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, that's what you're about to see. The reason why I started this channel in the first place. So I just wanted to preface that video with this one so i wouldn't just start talking and you're like what the hell are you talking about you just said you were 38 like a week ago. oh excuse me i just ate chick-fil-a yo have y'all had so only i know this is off but i'm only been on for a minute so it's cool <laughs> um like a couple months ago chick-fil-a got the macaroni and cheese it wasn't out here apparently it was in texas because my brother was like oh you're late we already had it. but we didn't have it out here that shit is good. And they use real cheese, which is why I don't like the macaroni at most places like Boston Market, KFC, any of those places because they use, you know, it's like Kraft macaroni or Velveeta macaroni or whatever. I don't know, but it's not good. But the one at Chick-fil-A, they use actual cheese, like cheddar cheese. If you haven't tried it, I'm telling you, get you some. But anyway, back to the video. Um... Yeah, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments, and I will see you later. Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. Um, this basically was created just kind of because I wanted to document um, this year of my life. Maybe the rest of them, but <laughs> definitely this one. I turned 35 about a month ago, and I was supposed to start this channel about a month ago, but... You know how that goes at the beginning you're all pumped up and then it's just kind of oh it's already march and you still haven't started with what you wanted to in january so i was like no more excuses doesn't matter that it's not a specific day the day that i want it i'm just going to go ahead and do it so that's what this channel is for more personally for me um just to kind of document things but also to probably meet other people in the process share stories, experiences, stuff like that. Um, YouTube is kind of, mm, what's the word? I guess it kind of opened the door for you to find people who maybe are in similar situations to you and kind of exposes you to a broader audience because you know, sometimes there's things that you go through that maybe your friends and family don't understand or can't understand, or you just don't want the judgment or whatever the reason is. But YouTube is kind of giving you, I guess, friends in other places that you might be like, hey, I went through that too. This is what I did. This is how this helped me, whatever, whatever. So that's pretty much the gist of what's going to be um, talked about on here. It's just me, my life, stuff that I'm up to, problems, whatever, whatever. Um, I have another channel actually that I use for my business. So I wanted something that was kind of more personal and not really tied to what I'm doing on that side. It was just more of kind of laid back this what this is what it is not you know some styled uh video or something like that it's really just me talking to the camera so the channel that i just mentioned the other channel um i'll put the link down below if you want to check it out that's something else that i have to well i've been working on this year behind the scenes more but i'm going to be uh putting a lot more videos than i have but if you want to check it out i will put the link in the description box but the name of my business my first business because i have two <laughs> Uh, my first business is called Latoya Nicole Creations, which I'm Latoya Nicole. Now I'm pretty sure you're probably like, your thing says L Nicole TV, so what is that about? Well, I didn't want my personal channel to be in any kind of way associated with my business channel. Not because I'm ashamed of it, it's just that if somebody was looking for my business page, I wanted them to find my business page. So I didn't want to do this one called Latoya nicole tv um just because of that reason so i tried to figure out something that i wouldn't have to sit here and rack my brain and come up with some cool name and try to you know grab people or whatever so i just figured out that instead of coming up with something i'll just use my name again but i would spell out l my first initial so that's why this channel is e-l-l-e -L -L -E, nicole 
Um, so that's not another <laughs> name that I have. My name is actually Latoya. I just spelled out the letter L. So that's what my name is about. Um, let me see what else. Oh, I said my first business. So I actually have two, not four, two <laughs> businesses. That first business was starting, um, started as a baking business, um, that kind of turned into dessert tables, cupcake toppers, DIY projects, stuff like that. I've always done all those things anyway. That business was just kind of a way for me to to put those out in the world, I guess, for other people. And then my second business is I have an apparel company called Chic Geek Apparel. And I started that about a year ago. Latoya Nicole Creations was started in 2013. Chic Geek Apparel was started last year. So in this, oh, sorry, this July, it'll be one year that I've had Chic Geek Apparel. And that was kind of started basically I've been designing t-shirts, honestly, for about four years, but I never was doing anything with the designs. I actually have a notebook that I would just put all these designs in and then just put it away. I really didn't know, I didn't have an intention, I guess I should say, of starting a company. Um, I was just making these. I was always coming up with these slogans and like little pictures and stuff for shirts, but I don't know if you guys are creative type people, but creatives... Your minds are always going, your minds are always like running. You might see something, get inspired by it, come up with something else. And that's pretty much what it was, this inspiration notebook I had, but it was just all these designs that, I don't know if I plan to give them to somebody, sell them, I don't know. I didn't really have any intention, but it was just, the notebook was just a way for me to get that out of my head. And so I put it down on paper, but I ended up starting my company last year because I was kind of back in, I wanted to kind of get away from baking for customers for a lot of reasons, which <laughs> uh, I'll make another video about that one day, about why I kind of wanted to slow down with that, but I, that's pretty much. So yeah, I wanted to move more away from the baking. And so I started She Geek Apparel. Um, initially I started out with one design. It was my Beauty and the Boss design, um, which if I'm savvy enough to remember how, I'll put a picture so you guys can see what it looked like. But yeah, I basically started with that one and I really only, this was before I actually started the company. I made the one shirt to kind of see if I would get any kind of response for it. And every time I used to wear it out, people always ask, where'd you get that? I need one. And so from that, I kind of made a second shirt and then it kind of got the same response as the first. Actually, that one was even more popular because it was like an entrepreneur definition shirt. And so same thing. I posted it to my Facebook page and then it was a lot of people uh, inboxing me that will see it because I made the picture public. So even if you weren't my friend, you could see it because, you know, people are nosy on Facebook. <laughs> so they go to people's pages and check out their their feed, even if they're not friends. So that's how that pretty much came about. I was like, well, maybe I should just try this out and see what comes of it. So that's what happened. So, oh, this shirt that I'm wearing right now. Um, it's actually raining here. I live in San Diego and it's raining and pretty cold today. So this is a sweatshirt that's from my line. So I think you can, I don't know if it looks like it says prostitute, <laughs> but it actually says prostitute. Um, I'll show you guys, but this is one of my more popular designs and it is a sweatshirt, like I said, but it's cold here. So that's why I'm wearing this today. But, um, yeah, I mean, I make a lot of baking related items because as I said before, I have slash had a baking desserts, all kinds of stuff company. And so I have really strong roots to baking just because I've been doing this since I was little. And so that's where a lot of my inspiration comes from for designs because I know what bakers like, what they think is funny. I have a lot of friends who still bake. So um, what else? What else? What else? I don't know what else to talk about today. I'm sorry if I keep looking at the phone and then back over here, but I noticed I have a glare on my glasses and I'm too lazy to go put my contacts in. So hopefully I don't look too weird for the, the whole video, but I don't know. Okay, so what else? Like I said, I live in San Diego. I've been out here for about 13 years, I think, total. Before, before, 
in the past. Uh, well, the reason I came out here initially is because I was in the military. So I got stationed out here in 2001, the first time. So from 2001 to 2008, I lived here. I was stationed at different bases around here. So that's seven years. <laughs> and then from 2008 to 2012, I lived in Japan and I loved it. And so once I finished with the military, uh, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. <laughs> And so I decided to go to, um, I wanted to go to a creative school. We get the GI Bill, so that means my, my college was paid for. I just had to figure out where I wanted to go. And I wasn't really interested in kind of sticking with the traditional, well, that's not true. Scratch that, back up. I wanted to be a dental hygienist. When I was in the military, I started out as a dental assistant. I did that for seven years. Then I switched over to medical assisting and then I became an EMT. So my last three years in, I was an EMT. I liked dentistry way more than I liked medicine. Um, and I actually wanted to be a dental hygienist. But in 2006, I was in this really bad car accident. Maybe I'll put pictures if I'm not lazy. I don't even know where the pictures are, but I was in this really bad accident. I was hit three times. No, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> I was rear-ended and then hit, well, I was rear-ended. And then I spun around into the next lane. I got hit on my passenger side. Then I spun around into the next lane and got hit on my driver's side. So, but that accident, as you could imagine, was pretty horrible and it left me with a lot of uh, physical damage. My spine is all jacked up, hands, all kinds of stuff. But I was basically told that by my doctor, I couldn't really um, perform anything where I had to be in a certain position for extended amounts of time. So. Being a dental hygienist requires you to basically look down and work in people's mouths all day. But that strain on my neck, um, I wouldn't be able to do it. And having to just sit still for 45 minutes, you know, you might have a break in between patients, 15 minutes and then another 45. It's just physically, I wouldn't be able to do it. So unfortunately, that's why I wasn't able to do dental hygiene, which is what I wanted to go to school for. So then I was like, okay, well, if you can't do that, what do you like to do? Um, and then that's where kind of my other business started from. It was just me knowing that I wanted to do something creative. I really never realized, I guess, that I could get paid doing all the stuff that I have been doing for years for free for people, throwing people's baby showers, making diaper cakes, baking people cakes, um, interior design, all this kind of stuff that I love to do and I've been doing for years for free. I never really put two and two together like you could actually do this for a living. There's people who solely make their income from doing these things. So then I decided to go to the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising or FIDM for short, F-I-D-M. I wanted to go to that school. I didn't want to do fashion design because of the sewing and again, the same reason I mentioned before, but they had a degree in what's called visual communication. So with that degree, it was creative, but it was broad enough that I could kind of do anything with it so if I wanted to go into personal styling I could if I wanted to do visual merchandising and like window displays and store displays I, w I could do that if I wanted to do um what did I say set design visual merchandising oh personal styling that was the other one I can't remember I'm if I'm repeating sorry but I like that degree because it was creative, but it allowed me enough freedom to kind of be able to go into something, not be locked into a specific field, I guess I should say. If I would have done interior design, that's my specialty. If I would have done fashion design, that's my specialty. I didn't really want to box myself in because I wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to do yet at the time. I just know that I didn't want to go to regular college. So that was that. I ended up... Um, picking the visual communications and from that I decided I wanted to do merchandising so I'm the person who when you go to the store and they have this cool display in the window this cool display in the store that's my job and yes it's fun and yes I love it um so yeah that's what I was doing for the last what year is it 17 <laughs> 16, 15, 14, four years. Uh, once I graduated school, then I got my first 
job at this company out here in California called Living Spaces. It's a furniture company. And I will, again, hopefully <laughs> try to put pictures so you guys can see what I'm talking about, but you can see some of my work. Um, and then I worked at Target for about a year and now I work somewhere else. I don't want to name it because I don't want to get stalked. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that. I, yeah, I mean, I love what I do. I honestly have no complaints about the job. Like I get paid to make things look pretty. Who can complain about that? It's a pretty awesome thing to do. Um, I don't know what else to talk about in this video. I really, sorry, I keep looking at the time and my face because it's a glare and I don't want to look, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> There's a glare and I want to keep my head like this, but I don't know if that looks weird. <laughs> um, so I guess I can end this video here because now I'm just rambling about random stuff, but I just want, really wanted to introduce myself. That was kind of the initial point of this video was just to say what's up. Thank you for watching this video. I would like if people watch my videos because I want to meet other people, interact with other people. Um, but I'm making this more for myself than anything else. So if I get one view or a hundred views or negative three, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, but I appreciate you even checking out the video. And if you have questions, you want to chat, I don't know, just comment below. Tell me where you're from, what you do. And I will be back with another video. I want to say I'm going to do bare minimum is once a week, right? So my camera definitely died. Well, it didn't die. I was just talking too much and I used all my memory because I have like <laughs> thousands of pictures in there. So anyway, back to what I was saying before. If you want to chit chat, uh, hit me up in the comment section. Just say hi. I'm interested to meet people and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be back with some more randomness, like I was saying before, probably once a week. I'm going to try to do more, but I have a lot of appointments and stuff um, that I go to right now. So it might not be possible to do more than that, but at least one time a week for sure. So thank you for watching. If you put up with me this long, then you are the real MVP. <laughs> um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.